Well, right now we're in our secure storage area for the Gem and Mineral Collection. Uh, locally, we refer to this as the Blue Room. And it is a place where we store more high value portions of our mineral collection. Also, we have the Gem Vault just back around the corner. And we have in this room about 20,000 mineral specimens. It's from this part of the collection that we select most of the pieces that end up on public exhibit. But of course, we're always getting new things. And so new materials coming into the collection typically come into this room. It's also our work area. It's a secure place where we can unpack and work on specimens, go through the accession process. And so this is the place uh, where we do most of our day-to-day -day operations with the mineral collection. When a lot of our visitors come to our exhibits, we find that uh, you know, they have some idea where gems come from. You know, they've thought about gems being maybe cut and polished, although I think they don't always think about the connection then back to the earth. But when they walk into the galleries where the mineral specimens are, crystals like this barrel, it's really kind of a, one of these aha moments for a lot of them because most people have never thought about the earth producing crystals with these beautiful symmetric shapes, the flat, smooth faces, almost artistic looking materials. And so when they see these things and they look at the beautiful different colors and the different shapes, and then they end up, you know, getting it, they actually came out of the earth this way. It's really one of these kind of teaching, one of these exciting moments for a lot of our visitors. And that's really what we were all about. We want people to have that kind of exciting moment to think about the earth in a different way. And I think crystals from the earth, like these minerals here, do that in such a spectacular way. This is one of the newer additions to our mineral collection. And I think it's a pretty spectacular piece. This is a emerald specimen. You see the nice large emerald crystals in a phlogopite schist that comes from Zambia. And I think this specimen is spectacular for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's just a beautiful thing. I mean, how often do you get to see emerald crystals like this that are in matrix? And we think it'll be a great way to show our visitors to the Smithsonian how emerald crystals are found and give them a better idea of where these gemstones come from. A lot of our visitors coming into the galleries, I think, have never thought really about where do gems come from. And I think a specimen like this one really helps them to make that connection. The other thing about this I like is the fact that it is from Zambia. Uh, we always think of, or most of us think of emeralds as originating from Colombia, which is and historically has been the source of many of our great emeralds. But an important new locality for emeralds is Zambia. And so I think this uh, surprises people a little bit when they see a specimen like this and find out that it is from Zambia. So this is the kind of specimen that we love to be able to show the public. But uh, it's also a good example of how we acquire specimens. This is one that was actually purchased for us. Um, we have a, a really nice support group of people called the Smithsonian Gemstone Collectors that contribute some support each year and help us to select some of these really special specimens that otherwise we just could not afford to add to the Smithsonian collection. Uh, the Smithsonian has one of the world's largest gem and mineral collections. And we use that collection in a lot of ways. Of course, most people coming into the doors of the museum, they see the public display of gems and minerals, which you know, we, we want to be spectacular. We want to be inclusive from minerals from around the world because we'd like people to uh, come in here and get a little bit better idea, learn a little more about the earth. And I think when you see gems, and particularly mineral specimens like this one, it's, it's hard not to get a little bit excited about the earth in a way that you've never really thought about it before. I mean, to think of the earth producing something this beautiful, I think really, get, you know, kind of wakens people up. It kind of changes their thinking a little bit about the earth. And of course, what we'd like to do is get people thinking about the earth and what a special place it is and how diverse it is, just how fascinating it is. And then, of course, the collection is used by researchers around the world. All of the mineral specimens, all of the gems in our collection, we say, are available for research. And so we provide specimens to scientists around the world uh, for their research. We also have a number of scientists that work here at the Smithsonian. And so we work on these specimens here with our laboratories, doing research and collaboration with, again, people from around the world. So it's a collection that serves both the science as well as um, our public outreach and our education programs.